everybody. Welcome back to day three of the Corona Quarantine Challenge, the five essentials in real life. Now, the reason that we're doing this challenge is because people need the five essentials now more than ever. Today, what we're going to be going over specifically is essential number five down here, so minimize exposure to toxins. But really, you can't have essentials two through five if you don't have essential number one, so maximize mind. Maximize mind really just means that you are in control of your health and you have to know that first of all. And then second is that your body is a self-healing machine. Your body needs no help to heal. It just needs no interference. And if you practice essentials two through five, there is no interference and your body can work at 100% and can fight off anything that comes its way. So really what we're going to be going over today is essential number five because I think this is one of the most overlooked essentials in our office. We always talk about nerve supply, that's you getting adjusted, maximize nutrients, maximize movement. Um, but sometimes we overlook essential number five because I know a lot of people in our office, they think, well, toxins, first off, that's medications. And that's right. Uh, one of the biggest problems with toxins in our country is people being on medications. Uh, we are 5% of the world's population, but we take 70% of the world's medications. And in our office, I know a lot of you say like, well, I'm doing a great job because since coming here, I've gotten off my thyroid medication, I've gotten off my blood pressure, my anti-anxiety medications. And that's great. That's minimizing toxins. But there's another layer of this. Um, and this is really other toxins that we interact with in our daily life. So it can be cleaning products, beauty products, foods. Um, so what I'm going to give you today is some resources to look at how we can address this fifth essential. So where I want to start and really where you can get all of your information for this, um, or a great start for all of your information, is the Environmental Working Group. So it's just ewg.org, um, and they have just a ton of great information on their website. So as you can see, um, but really where I would point people to go, because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming on here, where I go to is up here at this consumer guides. And what they do is they put together guides for all different areas of your life. So they have a tap water database. Uh, but some of my favorites are this skin deep guide to cosmetics for anybody that's wearing different cosmetics. So I'll go ahead and go to this one. Um, we can just start here because I know this is a huge area for toxins, especially um, for women. So what we're going to be getting into once we can actually get back together and we're out of this quarantine at the Happy Hormones Workshop um, is going into what sort of endocrine disruptors there are in our daily lives. And a lot of them come from women's beauty products. Um, so no matter what um, different guide you're on on this website when you get to it you can always go ahead and just search so if you have like a favorite product that you already use you can just search it in this bar right here and it'll come up so um like if we were to search cetaphil face wash So you can see, like you can search any product and say, let's look at ColourPop Cream Luxe Lipsticks. Um, and really this is just a great guide. So what I'll tell you is it's a two. Um, and it'll come up with this for no matter whatever you search. But what we're looking at is they rate them. So one being the best, 10 being the worst, but then also what they have on top of it is their EWG verified products, which we can take a look at that as well. Um, but no matter what you search, you can look and scroll through. So this is ranked a two, which is pretty darn good. Uh, but then it'll tell you exactly what the concerns are. So the ingredient concerns, um, if they're worried about it leading to cancer, developmental reproductive toxicity, all these different areas. And then I'll tell you high, moderate, low, obviously. And then what it does is it also goes into the different ingredients and what they're concerned with that ingredient. So titanium dioxide, um, sunscreen grade. Uh, the concerns for this is gonna be cancer, uh, allergies, skin absorption. So all these different things are ranked. And then um, for these beauty products, they also go into if it's animal tested and then what ingredients are on the label. Um, so you can do that for literally any product 
But then what's cool is that you can also go to just their verified products. So and these are products that they endorse that they say are like the best of the best. So you can scroll through and find which one is best for you. And there's 140 pages, so you can really dive in. Uh, we all have a little bit of extra time now, right, because we're quarantined. So going through this and just taking a look at what you have in your cabinet already and seeing is it a verified product or is it a one so I'll continue to use it or oh is it a six and then you can find better products from there. Um, the other really great guide on here, they have food scores. So this one is really, really cool and I'd suggest that everybody look through if you have any processed foods. Um, foods that come, you know, like in a bag that are already made, being able to search them on here. So once again, you can search anything, search more than 80,000 foods. But what they do is they end up putting it into different categories. So they have nutritional concerns, ingredient concerns, and then processing concerns, which I think is really cool because you can look at, okay, well, is this food that I'm looking at just not nutritionally great, it doesn't have a lot of benefits for me, but good news, there aren't pesticides and there is low processing concerns. So you can figure out what product you want based on these three areas of one being high or one being low. Um, but let's go ahead and search. I already searched bread. Um, we can do this again, this is fun. So, you get your choice of breads. I just went to sprouted breads and buns before. And what you can see is that they're all broken down and a lot of them are a one rating, which is great. That's the lowest score. That's really where you want to be. So let's just click on this top one just because it's there. So you can go through it. So it's a one, a 1.1. 1 .1. It's low, um, which is means it's a good score. And what we go through is the nutrition concerns. There's low nutrition concerns. And you can click, like, what are the details of this? What is there? What are they breaking it down in? So it's high protein concentration or content. That's great. Fiber is pretty great, too. Um, but the, then they even list what are the negatives. So the sugar is maybe a little bit higher than you'd like to see it or high sodium. So if you're watching out for that, you would know. And then ingredients concerns, we can look at that. So it's certified organic, so that automatically makes it on the lower end. And then no other ingredient concerns. And then same with processing. So have low processing concerns. And you can figure out what they consider as a processing concern if you read into the full thing. But this is a great place to start. So if you're ever trying something new or we talk about maybe some food at a workshop, you can decide, oh, well, which one do I want to buy? And you can go to this website and figure out which one would be the best one. The last guide that I really like and that I think is really important right now because one, everybody's at home and I've heard so many of our patients and even I've started to do it just, I have a little bit of extra time. So I've been cleaning and deep cleaning um, my house. And so many of the cleaning products that are out there are bad for us, whether it's chemical irritants to our skin or problems with breathing, like respiratory asthma problems. So this is a great place to start to make sure that you're cleaning your house with good products. Um, I think it's just easiest to go right up here to this guide to healthy cleaning. Um, and pick what is a good product for you to be using. Um, also, everybody's, you know, I think a little bit more vigilant about wiping things down now. And do you really want to use Clorox wipers? Is there a better option um, for wiping down surfaces? So, like, you can just click at this top one. These are the verified products. And it breaks it down into asthma, asthma respiratory, skin allergies, developmental and reproductive toxicity, cancer. And some of these are terrifyingly high and they're things that I've seen in my own house or in other people's house who I care about. Um, so being able to go through this and then they list every ingredient and the score associated with it. Um, and you can see this has a lot more A's than it has anything else. And that's why it's one of those verified products. Um, so what I wanna do this week and with this particular videos, I want to challenge you guys to pick 
two items, at least two items. We have time for this. Um, pick two items that you have in your house, house, whether it's cleaning products or beauty products, like your shampoo or conditioner, um, and go onto this website and see how it ranks and see if what better choices you can be making for your house, for your household, because we got a little bit of extra time and we got to use it. We have to leave this quarantine better than we started it and healthier than we started it. And now is the time to take control. So Pick two, um, go ahead and figure out if they're good for you. If they are, keep using them. If they're not, find a better solution. Go out and see if you can find those in the store right now and buy that. Um, and make sure that you share this video because so many people have no idea that this is a very easy to use resource and a place to find great information on how to clean your house well and just make sure that we're minimizing that fifth essential, so minimizing toxins.